Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you three simple steps to close every sales deal. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you three simple steps to close every sales deal. Now listen, I want you to understand this, okay? What I like to do, this is a whiteboard. Everybody knows Andy Elliott for whiteboard work. I love it. It's an easy way to teach and to teach hypotheticals. So like if this happens, this is how you do it. In this one, I'm gonna show you kind of like a graph. Let's just take a line here real quick. And if you've ever been around a great closer, a great salesperson, they've probably taught you some strategies to do well. Well, number one, let's just talk about this. This is gonna be open, okay? This is gonna be where the cell would open, right? Like you meet somebody, okay? Whether it's on the phone or in person, whatever. This is gonna be the close. This is very simple to understand because this is the timeline of a deal it's that easy so number one sell step number one how do you take control at the beginning sell step number one this is the, the first tip you got to take control within the first two or three seconds i didn't say two or three minutes i said two or three seconds all right look if you can't take control right out the gate all right which means when i meet somebody i'm like man how you doing well, hey number one welcome to the store welcome to my home i'm so glad you're here hey what's going on with my eyes, with my tonality, with my voice, with my body language, with all of my being. I'm not welcoming to a dealership or a store. I'm welcoming them to my home. This is my place. Glad you're here. I show massive amounts of love and guess what happens? I will start to take control and they will follow me, okay? But if you walk up like a coffin dead asleep, hey, how are you doing? How can I help you guys today? Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're gonna interrupt you and they're gonna take control that's step one. Step one, write this down. I like to write as I'm training with someone else, okay? In the first two or three seconds, we're taking control. So we're gonna put here, take control, okay? All right, so after you go and you lead them, which is what taking control is, guess what? You'll be able to go into part two. This is part one, part two, which is gonna be really simple. Go through and go through some fact, find, qualify. You can call it intelligence questions. Look, find out some stuff about your customer, about why they're here today. So number one, you can surface their dominant buying motive. Write that down. Look, dominant. Okay, what does dominant mean? That means the number one thing. Their dominant buying motive, all right? Now look, I want you to think about this real quick, okay? If somebody's trading in the car, and maybe this time they want something a little bit bigger, something that sits a little higher off the ground, better safety, lower miles, right? Better gas mileage, it's gonna get better, it has a warranty on it now, their old car doesn't, maybe redesigned body style, looks a little bit nicer, rides smoother, I don't, it has more options. Look, all those things could be great, and I will sell all of those things but maybe there could be a dominant buying motive, right? Something that's really important to them. And something like that would be, hey, we're having another kid. We've got three kids. We're having another kid. We're in a car. We need a third row. It's not an option not to have a third row vehicle from this point forward. They got to have one. That is a dominant. That means that all the other things are great. And all those other things that you sell them on, they can envision them wanting on their new vehicle. And that can make them want to pay more money, right? Because you're increasing the value. But the dominant buying motive would be, they got to have another seat. It's the most important thing to them. So part two needs to be this. Learn how to ask great questions, okay? Learn how to ask great questions. Look, people have problems, okay? You want to make every sale go down? Find people's problem and solve them. It's that easy. That's how you get paid, okay? Well, how are you gonna do that? Well, number one, you gotta have control. And then when you have control, when you ask great questions, what will they do? They'll happily answer all of your questions. Now, let's go to the last part. Let's say that they say this car right here, by all the information you found, right? Look at that beautiful car. You gathered all this information, and you go show them this vehicle. You're excited about it, you're jacked up, you're happy. Man, you're, you feel like a, a billionaire. You're just telling them like, gosh, man, isn't this nice? Look how awesome this is. I'm so glad you're here. Your family's amazing. Based on everything you told me, this is the perfect vehicle. Let's go drive it. You ask for their business. Everybody's excited. And what are you gonna do? After driving the car, you're gonna ask 
for the business. Now watch this. Look at this. Asking for their business in the close, you're getting pretty close to finishing the deal. Look, you're two thirds of the way, two thirds. If you can just do these first two right, all you gotta worry about is this last one and your goal. So what do you do right here? Well, you're gonna ask for their business. Hey, let me ask you, if I could get the deal 110% to your satisfaction, right? Would you wanna take it home? Maybe that's you. Maybe you're like, hey guys, look, it looks like you love the vehicle. You said you love the way you drove. Look, man, how do you wanna title the new vehicle? In your name or in both your names? Hit them with the old title close. Doesn't matter to me. You're hitting them with the little trial close and guess what they tell you? They tell you no, okay? Now, when they say no, you guys know I'm the king of overcoming objections. That's what I do. I live in that zone. I'm battle tested. I train for two or three hours every day. So should you. But guess what? Let's say the guy says, hey, appreciate it, Andy. Look, me and my wife, we just need to get out of here and we need to talk about it. And then you go into the wife clothes or you go into the we need to think about it clothes or the we need to talk about it clothes. And you go to overcome it. Once they say no, you always overcome it, okay? But if you can't, Listen to me, listen, pay close attention. This is the most important part on number three. If they say no again, look, notice I said again, which means a second time, you don't need to ask why again. At that point, that'll be irritating. Look, here's what you do. No, overcome it. You should be able to move on with the deal and go here. But if they say no, Andy, we appreciate it, man, but we really feel like we truly need to think about it together. At that point, I'm not gonna ask for their business again. Write this down. Don't ask for their business again after two no's. What you need to do is you need to circle around again. Circle, see right here? Questions. What questions did we ask? I'm gonna go back to early on within the deal when I went to my investigating stage and guess what they did? They, asked, they, they told me some answers when I asked some questions about what they needed. And I'm gonna circle real quick and I'm gonna sell everything that they told me back to them within 30 seconds, okay? Follow me. So the guy's like, I'm like, hey man, if I could get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? Andy, appreciate it, we really need to think about it. Okay, cool, listen, of course you need to think about it. Look, I haven't given enough information not to think about it. Look, what I'd like to do, give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers. That way when you go home, you got something to think about. That be fair? Man, appreciate it, Andy. Look, I just feel like we're not ready to go to that next step yet. Okay, no, overcame, no. Hey, look, totally understand. Always hitting with, with a softening statement. Watch this, a softening statement. What's a softening statement? It's where you agree with them. Hey man, I totally understand. Look, the reason why I showed you the vehicle that I showed you was when you came in here today, right? You guys told me that you got the new little bun in the oven coming, right? And in two or three months, you're gonna need a new vehicle. Why? Because you gotta have an extra seat. And it's not safe if you don't. We can't put the baby on somebody's lap. So it's not a matter of if you guys need to buy a car, it's just when, right? In the wins when the deal's right, right? So what I would like to say is I know buying a vehicle is a planned event, especially for a family. You guys thought about what some numbers needed to look like at the kitchen table. You came in today and you told me X, Y, and Z was important to you. Well, the car I'm showing you has X, Y, and Z in it. So I'd like to ask you this, right? If I could save you some time and money and the vehicle has everything you want, would that offend you in any way? If I could save you some time and money, would that upset you? No. Let me show you, and in the end, it's your decision. Would that be fair? All right, Andy, show us what it looks like. Bam, baby, gotcha! And how did I do it? I did it by a little three-step system. Number one, I took control, right? Number two, what did I do? Surface or dominant buying motive. Ask great questions, get great answers. I figured out what they needed, what they wanted, but what they needed. Okay, needs and wants, two different things. Then when I ask for their business, if they say no, I'll go to overcome it, which means I gotta be deadly at objection handling. If they say no again, I won't say, well, come on guys, would you just give me a shot? What if I could get the price cheap enough? If I could get you more for your trade, would you do it? Guys, 
Don't go into that yet, okay? All you're doing is overselling. You're going into a desperation state, and guess what? They can smell it, and it's, it's come from a state of weakness. Hold control, don't give it back. Circle back around to the questioning stage, and then guess what? Ask great questions, okay? You did, now you have all the info, surface the information back to them, serve it to them again. It reminds them in a 30 second pitch why they're there again. Remember, it's real easy before someone goes to buy something that they, re, that they forget why they're there and then they remember that they're about to go into a negotiation, okay? Or about to go into the dealership and buy something. So I try to remind them, hey man, you guys went through all the thought processes at home to come out to make it this far because you wanted X, Y, and Z. Well, the fact is, is that the vehicle we're looking at is X, Y, and Z. And look, you're not just buying it from somebody, you're buying it from me. And I'm going to give you world-class customer service and serve you at all the highest levels that are important to you and your family. Look, it's not a matter of if you're going to buy, it's when. And the win is when the deal's right. Right? So if it can save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would that upset you in any way? No. Thank goodness. Done. You do the deal. One, two, three step system. Guys, if you want to become deadly at selling, shoot me a text message. I would love to help you. I would love to help you. If you look in the description box below, you'll see 10 training courses. I teach people how to make a half a million a year selling cars. My last year I made 716 grand. Listen to me. If you're making a buck and a half, 150,000 a year selling cars, good job. That's, that's amazing. But you're not even scratching the surface. And by the way, if you're making less than that, text me but if you want to go to the top and you want to be a legend and an icon in this industry which you can be can teach you how to get there shoot me a text i'd love to meet you 918-210-0254 subscribe subscribe guys share the video with the friend if you know somebody that can use it share it right now see you guys soon